Today my presentation topic is uh, morning becomes electra as a Greek tragedy. So let's check it out first and what are the characteristics of a Greek tragedy. First is a tragic hero, second is tragic flow, third is catastrophe, fourth is chorus and fifth is fate. Before going on the topic, let's check it out what were the Greek tragedies, uh, Greek, uh, tragedies and uh, 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 what were the great writers. Look at famous Greek tragedy and their writers. Aeschylus was the first one who has used uh, a Greek uh, tragedy uh, in the Greek. He was the first one who has used the trilogies in their work, in, in his works, and he was used to do work in a sun up to down, uh, like uh, in that sense. His famous works are Agamemnon, the Lamentation, Barriers, and Humanities. The second one is Sophocles, who was the another writer who comes after Aeschylus, and we all know that who comes the second, uh, who always make the changes. From the first one, so he developed uh, some things, and uh, he uh, he was the one who is not using the trilogies in works, so the audience can uh, easier in a better way. His famous works are Antigone and Oedipus the King. The third one is uh, Euripides. He was the one who used the first the female lead in his works, so uh, this was uh, the unique point of his. Uh, Euripides also developed the concept of years of machina, which means that the god from the mach. Uh, God from the machine, which means the supernatural power uh, comes uh, comes down and solve the problems of the one who is experiencing the problems. His works are the uh, uh, Kairos, Akiva, and Elstis. Now let's check it out. Uh, Morning becomes Electra as a Greek tragedy uh, according to the, the characteristics of a Greek tragedy. Now first comes the tragedy. What is the meaning of a tragedy? At the center of a tragedy is its protagonist. The tragic hero is a person of high rank who accepts his or her downfall with dignity. We all know that uh, Eugene O'Neill has used the uh, Electra complex here, and Lavinia is the uh, protagonist of the uh, of the novel. So Lavinia loves his uh, loves her father very much. Well, well all girls uh, love uh, love her father very much, but this love is more deep, and we can see also that the lust for her, lust for. Uh, but Ezra is uh, uh, no, uh, not aware about her daughter's love towards him, and uh, this blind love of Lavinia uh, took the many work uh, deaths in this novel. So we can see that at the end she was uh, alone, and uh, she was feeling like that. She was feeling like that. I have ruined my own life. Second is tragic flow. So what is the meaning of tragic flow? An error in judgment or weakness in characters such as pride. Or arrogance, which brings the downfall of the protagonist. Here we can see that uh, Lavinia's love towards her father was the weakness of this novel and uh, uh, of the protagonist. He loves towards her father because he's hated towards her mother. And the second point is that uh, 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 Eugene has uh, used the Oedipus uh, 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 complex also here. So Orion also loves her mother too. And uh, when Lavinia comes, uh, comes to know about her mother is love in a, in love with Adam. So he poisoned uh, Orange's ear. Means we can see that uh, we can uh, in Gujarati we can uh, we say that Kokni Khan Bhumbeni. So he uh, poisoned the ears of Orange. So Orange <coughs> murdered uh, uh, her mother's lover uh, whose name is Adam. And when Christine, uh, 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 her mother, Lavinia's mother, comes to know about it, she committed suicide. And then now, uh, now this leads to another dirty situation that Orin, uh, Orin now also become alone. So Christian has committed suicide. So now Orin comes to Lavinia that marry me and I will, I am in love with you. But Lavinia uh, 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 don't uh, want to accept uh, 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 his love. So he inserted her, uh, inserted uh, him, and uh, so this uh, uh, ins uh, like so insert feeling Orin uh, uh, also committed suicide. So at the end, uh, Lavinia becomes alone. This leads Lavinia to a lonely situation where she is in deep psychological fixations. Now, what is catastrophe? A tragedy ends with a catastrophe, a disastrous conclusion that usually involves multiple deaths. If the tragic hero does not die, then he or she suffers complete ruin. We can see that uh, may, there are many deaths here: Ezra Menon, Orin, uh, uh, Christian, and as well as Adam. So at the end, she feels caught in the memory of the dead person. That are because of her, because of me, all all are dead. So 
The dad seems to want her mind and her feelings. She decides to remain alone in the house of the dead to pay her for sins. And she says that, and there is no one left to punish me. I am the last man. I have got to punish myself. Uh, living alone here with the dead is a worse act of justice than death or prison. I will never go out or see anyone. Chorus. Through, uh, what is a chorus? So throughout the trinity, a chorus mass group of actors observe and comment on the action through song. Uh, that is the chorus. But Eugene Normal has a different way to uh, present a chorus here. He has not uh, uh, taken up three or four uh, uh, men uh, to portray the story, but he has taken a man uh, sat uh, back with, who, is, uh, who always comes with singing the song and uh, uh, introduce about that what will happen here. So Seth represents part of the staple of Greek tragedy known as the chorus, a group of actors, usually with one taking the lead who give the audience valuable info and comment on what's going down in the play. The chorus, the chorus does all the heavy lifting and grunt work setting things up for us viewers, making Seth clearly working class as a chorus here. So this was a different tweet that Seth, uh, Eugene O'Neill has used to you. Fate. Now what is fate? The Asian Greeks. In all Greek, uh, Greek tragedies, you will find some supernatural powers. So, in, uh, in the idea of fate or a destiny preordained by the gods, no matter what action a person takes in the present, the fates or morai, where the three goddesses would determine the length of a person's life and how much suffering it would contain. Well, what is fates? Fates are the three goddesses who are who plays a major part in Greek tragedies. They have their three fates who always come to the Greek tragedies and. Uh, they are death, uh, life, and uh, murder. But here, Eugene O'Neill has not used their supernatural power. He comes, uh, he, uh, he believes that now we have to come out, uh, come out of that uh, things, and uh, let's. Uh, so he has not used uh, used uh, supernatural power here. But here, only uh, Eugene O'Neill has not used any supernatural power because he believes that people are no longer puppets of the supernatural powers. One of his challenges was to adapt Orestia with its obsession about faith. For an audience who didn't believe in this supernatural power. So we can see that these all tragic hero, tragic pro, catastrophe, chorus, and fate are the part of this uh, Greek tragedy, morning becomes Electra. These all are the references which I have took to make my presentations. Thank you.